Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and we are continuing weighted average and allegations here, right? That's after the first video, a super concept we saw in first video, right? We'll applying it and we'll see a famous method of allegation also, okay? And then we can compare between both the methods, right? Which is shorter, okay? And when to apply which method, okay? So see, what is the concept of allegation here, right? Concept of allegation. Concept of allegation. See what is allegation here actually? See from weighted average, right? If I write this point here, that something at p one rupees per kg, rupees p one per kg, and I bought I bought q one kg. Another thing is at rupees p two per kg, and I bought q two kg. Okay. So what is the average cost price? Right? We did this kind of question for apples only. Sixty eight kg apples at sixty three rupees per kg. Same thing, right? So what is the average cost price? So let's say average cost price in this case is equal to P. So I can write here, what is the relation here in between all these quantities? So what is the average cost price? P equal to total price paid. What is total price paid? So rupees P1 per kg of let's say apples at Q, uh, rupees P1 per kg is the price of apple and we bought Q1 kg. So how much price we paid? P1 into Q1. Again, rupees P2 per kg is the price of apple and I paid Q2 kg. Okay, so I, how much I paid? P2 into Q2 divided by total quantity that is Q1 plus Q2, right? So discussing that concept here, remember that the concept we're discussing here, that weight ratio, weight ratio is inversely proportional to distance ratio, right? Distance ratio. So concept we're discussing where we, there was weight ratio and distance ratio, right? So here are the same thing I'll do. I'll look, I'll first calculate weight ratio. What is weight ratio here, right? So what is weight ratio? So weight ratio means I need to calculate what is, is what is Q1 by Q2 here. Okay, so let's solve it a bit. I can write, okay, PQ1 plus PQ2 is equal to P1Q1 plus P2Q2 or P minus P1 into Q1 is equal to P2 minus P into Q2 Therefore, therefore, I was searching for this relation, relation Q1 by Q2 is equal to P2 minus B, P by P minus P1. Very important point is right. What we discussed there in weighted average as the weight ratio, the weight ratio, we got weight ratio is here. This is the weight ratio, right? Two quantities ratio, that is Q1 by Q2. So Q1 by Q2 is P2 minus P upon P minus P1. Okay, let me write here. So we got ratio of two quantities is equal to P2 minus P upon P minus P1 where P is the average price. P is the average price of the, P is the average price of the two quantities and P1 is the price of first quantity, price of first quantity and P2 is the price of second quantity, right? Now we'll see here where to use this kind of funda, where to not, quick, very, listen very carefully, right? I'll, I'll uh, discuss this funda and we relate it to what we studied in the last video also, right? We'll connect both things, okay? So if I tell you a shopkeeper had, okay, rupees, a shopkeeper had rupees, uh, two rice, when shopkeeper has two rice, right? Shopkeeper had two quantity of, two quality of rice. So type one rice, he's selling at, type one rice, he's selling at, so type one rice, type one rice, the price of the type one rice is rupees 30 per kg. Okay. And the price of the type two rice, it is rupees 50 per kg okay okay so and he mixed them and he mixed them in the ratio of he mixed them in the ratio of let's say um, in the ratio of 3 is to 1 he mixed them in the ratio of 3 is to 1 so what is the what is the average cost price same question as we did in the last video right what is the average cost price? Now see, first we'll apply this allegation method here and then we'll connect to the last concept video. Okay, 
so we'll type we can solve this question as first like first so q1 by q2 is equal to p2 minus p upon p minus p1 okay so i have this q1 by q2 ratio so q1 by q2 here is 3 by 1 is equal to p2 minus p now this is 50 right 50 minus p upon p minus p1 p is because p i don't know right upon p minus p1 that is p minus 30 now if you solve here if we solve here we will get 3p minus 90 is equal to 50 minus p therefore 2p is 140 am i correct here 3 by 1 no uh, 3p minus 90 is equal to 50 minus p yeah so 4p is equal to 140 therefore p is equal to 35 it says that average price should be 35 to mix them in the ratio of 3 is to 1 right now what we discussed in the last video that is our second method right and see how fast it is right same thing i told you okay price of first quantity rice is rupees 30 price of second quantity rice is rupees 50 their weight ratio is 3 is to 1 their quantity right in which in the ratio in which they are dividing their weight is, is in the ratio of 3 is to 1 so the distance from the mean price if their weight ratio if their weight ratio is if their weight ratio is 3 is to 1 so distance from the mean will be how much 1 is to 3 1 is to 3 so i'll put a price here i'll put a price here such that it divides this 30 and 50 in the ratio of 1 is to 3 right so i how, how, how i do it the difference of 20 so difference of 20 in the ratio of 1 is to 3 right so 1 to 3 means total 4 parts 4 parts is 20 so 1 part is 5 30 1 part is 5 right so 30 plus 5 35 that's it this is the answer i got 35 here also i got 35 here also, here also right this is much faster this method is much faster this is what we discussed in the last video right this is what we discussed in the last video this is why weighted average so simply right i'll get the answer from here also no issue there's nothing no uh, there's uh, uh, no point of uh, solving uh, solving like this right if i can get the answer by this ratio or what you can do or you can do directly apply that weighted, weighted average part because i want the average cost price here right so you can always do this right if you if you're thinking it you're correct that you can directly apply that funda you can surely apply see you can surely apply right you can surely apply the third one right third method that p is equal to p1 q1 or plus p2 q2 divided by q1 plus q2 directly you can do here right p1 is like a 30 q1 and q2 are in the ratio of 3 is to 1 so let's say q1 is 3 kg p2 price is 50 q2 is 1 kg upon 3 plus 1 here also you'll get the same answer as 35 only right so you might think that this is easier and faster now but when it will fail in that kind of question in that kind of question like 68 kg apple at rupees 63 per kg per kg right and 81 kg app 85 kg apple at rupees 81 per kg it will fail here right because it will have tedious calculation i don't want tedious calculation this also this also i can solve simply by looking this also i can solve simply by looking that this ratio is 4 is to 5 the distance ratio should be 5 is to 4 divide this 18 difference in the ratio of 5 is to 4 that is 9 parts so one part is uh, nine parts is 18 so one part is 2 so five part is 10 63 plus 10, 73 is the answer i want that fast right that will be method 2 that will be method 2 will give me very fast answer correct so method 2 will be giving me very fast answer okay now another move to next question or move to next concept right same thing we'll discuss again see now there is i'm telling there is type 1 sugar type 1 sugar in the rate type 1 sugar is priced at rupees 60 per kg okay type 2 sugar is priced at rupees 90 per kg okay rupees 90 per kg they are mixed their mixture mixture is priced at rupees rupees 78 per kg okay so in what ratio in what ratio they should be they should be mixed to get price to get price 
at rupees 78 per kg right now again very interesting question right directly you can do it right so i'll solve you how to so i'll show you how to solve it by different method again type 1 method sorry again method 1 not type so method 1 okay so my method 1 would be how to solve this kind of question my method 1 will be simply like this right simply like this i'll write 60 here i would write uh, 90 here i want the mean i i have in this case i have the mean price right what is my mean price my mean price is rupees 78 what is the distance ratio so distance from 60 is 18 distance from 90 is 12 so 18 is to 12 the distance ratio is what 3 is to 2 so what is the weight ratio therefore the weight ratio should be 2 is to 3 that's my answer 2 is to 3 is my answer for this question 2 is to 3 is the answer from uh, my answer for this question 2 is to 3 right distance ratio is 3 is to 2 so weight ratio should be 2 is to 2 is to 3 that means two parts of type 1 rice, two parts of type 1 rice and three parts of type 2 rice. Correct? Now, see, my method 2 will be, my method 2 will be solve it by this funda. Q1 by Q2 is equal to P2 minus P upon P minus P1. See, I can directly put here, I can directly put here also, right, that P2 is 78, sorry, P2 is 90 per kg. Okay, P2 is 90 per kg. P2 is 90 per kg. P is that is the average price 78 upon average price minus P1. See quickly what is 12 by 18. Again, it is 2 by 3. So 2 is to 3 only I got, right? 2 is to 3 I got. Same thing here, type 2 also. Same method, right? So just trade this different application. Where do you apply it? Where do you apply it, right? So both are same thing. So now from here, from here, we'll discuss, uh, we'll discuss this allegation map, right? This is allegation map. How to map this funda into allegation this is also important, right? How to do it? So see, it's same thing. What does allegation map gives you? Same thing is like Q1 by Q2 is equal to P2 minus P upon P minus P1, right? This P is the average cost price. Here P. P1 is this price. P2 is this price. Okay, this is P. So obviously, obviously P will be, obviously P will be lying between P1 and P2. Obviously P will be lying between P1 and P2, right? Between P1 and P2. So that means either one will be greater. No issue. Right now, I, I know that P2 is greater. So I'll put P2 because it's P2 minus P here. So P2 is greater. So I'll put P2 minus P and I'll put P minus P. P1. And what is this? this? What is this? This is a ratio. This is a ratio of what? This is a ratio of Q1 is to Q2. Don't forget. This is a ratio of Q1 is to Q2. This is your allegation map. This is your allegation map, right? So map like this. So it's also same concept, right? To find ratio, it is very easy. To find this ratio, it is very easy. But again, to find this average price, it is again difficult to do it, right? So for that, I have to apply that again that distance funda but in case of but in case of variables right, it is it's good to apply this allegation funda to different question different application right this is a main concept of allegation okay now we'll discuss in different questions how to apply this kind of funda to solve the questions easier right first get this funda in completely in mind okay now see what i'll do here is i'll discuss that question that question was type 1 sugar type 1 sugar is priced at rupees 60 per kg type 2 sugar is priced at rupees 90 per kg and their mixture their mixture is priced at rupees 78 per kg so what is the ratio of what is the ratio of type 1 and type 2 in the mixture so simply i can do it but here put allegation map price one is 60 type one sugar price is 60 type two sugar sugar price is 90 average price is 78 this is allegation map i'm putting now this is always positive right this what is this value p2 minus sorry 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 i made a mistake here just p2 minus p not p2 minus p1 mind it it's p2 minus p 
P2 minus P. Okay. So 90 minus 78 is 12. Just get the positive value. That's it. Don't confuse. It, it, it should be 78 minus 90. No. No negative value. Only positive value. Because it is quantity ratio. It can never be negative. Just positive value. And this is a subtraction, right? So 90 minus 78 to 12. 78 minus 60, 18. 12 is to 18. What is the ratio? 2 is to 3. That's it. So answer for type 1 is to type 1 under it is 2. Type 2 under it is 3. So type 1 is to type 2. What is the ratio? That ratio is what? 2 is to 3. Right. So all these points are perfectly interconnected. All these points are perfectly interconnected. Right. It your, it's your wish what to apply. But if you ask me what to in these two videos, what are two most important things to remember? First thing to remember is that distance funda. Okay, weight is inversely proportional to distance. So weight is inversely proportional to distance. So directly I can get get the ratio as um what is the whatever is the distance ratio? Weight ratio, it's inverse is the distance ratio. Whatever is the weight ratio, it's inverse is distance ratio. I'll divide the difference in terms of distance and quickly you'll get the answer. And second thing is this allegation concept, this allegation mapping, right? It comes from this formula, okay? Second thing is allegation mapping you should also remember. So these two things you should be remembering from these two videos, very important, right? So the next videos we'll be doing questions and we'll have directly applying this kind of concepts and all the difficult problems, right? Many difficult problems, allegation can be quite easily applied, okay? So this uh, allegation concept is very, very, very important. With this, this weight is inverse to, inversely proportional to distance funda. These two are very, very important, right? We'll discuss this in next video, okay? Thank you.